I got to thinking about LeBron's career and some of the guys that he's had as teammates. And I went through the list of shooting guards that LeBron's played with, really just guards in general. Let's just focus on guards in general. And I think it's something interesting. If you go through LeBron's career, from his one season in LA, uh, to his, what, essentially a decade in Cleveland, um, the four years in Miami, you look around and you think, how many serious shooting guards has LeBron James played with? Like serious, right? Not talking about talent, obviously Dwayne Wade's a first ballot Hall of Famer, but I'm not 100% sure if LeBron caught D Wade at his most serious place in life. Uh, I, I wanna stick to the bro code here, so I'm not gonna go in depth with this with D Wade, but let's just call a spade a spade. While Bron was playing with D Wade in Miami, D Wade had a, a side baby, allegedly. Um, his body was deteriorating on him. There's a video going around on social media where Dwayne Wade's asking LeBron James at an early age, like, why are you icing your body up? And LeBron just kind of blew it off. And I'm pretty sure in the back of LeBron's mind, he's thinking this is one of his friends. He's like, you should be icing your damn body too. I'm trying to preserve myself for year 17, not year eight, right? But that's the foresight LeBron had. So with D-Wade, I'm not sure if LeBron got the most serious version of D-Wade. As a matter of fact, reportedly, after LeBron decided to go back from Miami back to Cleveland, uh, reportedly that's when D-Wade recommitted his body, got back with his former trainer, Tim Grover, the guy who trained Kobe and Jordan as well. That's when he recommitted his body because he felt like LeBron left him because he wanted the same D-Wade anymore. LeBron wanted to go play with a younger Kyrie Irving, a better Kyrie Irving at the time. So I'm not sure if LeBron got the best D-Wade. Year one was amazing of D-Wade, but after that, D-Wade pretty much limped to that finish line. And LeBron had to carry that load a lot. Looking around at some of the other guys that LeBron's played with. Do I need to go any further with Lonzo Ball? He wasn't the most focused he could be last year. I think even he'd admit that. Let's go backwards a little bit. J.R. Smith. Now, J.R. Smith is a phenomenal talent. I'm gonna make myself clear when I say this. J.R. Smith had a Hall of Fame potential. He didn't put in the work to do that. Go look at some J.R. Smith high school tape. Go look at how great he was in Denver. Go look at, he's one of the top 12, top 13, three-point shooters of all time and three-pointers made. Did you know that? One of the, he, he was one of the best dunkers at one point in time. Sixth man of the year. J.R. Smith had Hall of Fame potential. He never panned out. Going reportedly kicking it at the club with Rihanna too late at night. Back in his New York day, that's on Jr. Jr. had his moments. I say LeBron got a good year or two out of him, but Jr. missed a lot of open shots that he used to make towards the end of his tenure with LeBron in Cleveland. Was he the most serious shooting guard that LeBron has played with? Looking around, going backwards here, uh, we running out of guys. What you want me to say, Ray Allen? Very serious guy, but he was older. Couldn't do what his body used to do. He could still knock down that jumper, obviously, but just wasn't in his prime anymore. Look around. Delonte West, Mo Williams, Booby Gibson. Yo, you start thinking, you're like, damn. Bron ain't really played with a lot of talent at the guard position. And the guys he did play with, they were not at their most focused version. Kyrie Irving, somebody's gonna say Kyrie. I'm not sure if Kyrie Irving has made it to his most focused version yet in his career. He's just so damn good offensively. Even an unfocused Kyrie Irving can get to the finals with LeBron James in the Eastern Conference. That's how damn good Kyrie is. I'm not sure if Kyrie Irving is the best version of himself yet. I would tend to say he's not. Look, who's left? Larry Hughes? Yeah, what want me to say? Go up and down the list. What Avery Bradley and Danny Green, I want to kind of stick here with Avery Bradley because Danny Green is a shooter and he can, he can really rip the basketball, but he, he gets a lot of steals based off what he has around him. He played with Kawhi Leonard last year. So I want to focus on Avery Bradley here. Uh, Avery Bradley is not the most talented shoe guard, shooting guard that LeBron ever played with. That'll be D-Wade. He's not the best scorer that LeBron would ever play with at the guard position. That would be Kyrie Irving, right? What he is is consistently consistent serious about the game of basketball 
reportedly has recommitted his body, wants to be available every night for the Lakers next year after joining that Lakers team a week or so ago. I like what Avery Bradley's going to bring LeBron. I'm not sure how many of these LeBron has had. A guard that could defend, smaller guard, but can get up under you, make life difficult for a defender, uh, and knock down that corner three. How many of those guys has LeBron, game ha ha LeBron James had? And serious about the game. Serious. Not going to be no play play. We ain't going to be talking about the clubs every night. We ain't going to be singing on Instagram every other day. We ain't going to be having side babies. Maybe the side baby. I don't know if he's, you know, I don't know what Avery Bradley got going. Point I'm trying to make is, I think Avery Bradley will be one of the most important players LeBron James has ever played with. And if LeBron James does get ring number four with the Los Angeles Lakers in the next couple years, I guarantee you Avery Bradley will be one of the most impactful pieces on that court for the Lakers. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.